Heinz Bites, your Strata update with Frank Higginson from Heinz Legal. Let's talk about electric vehicles in Strata. This is becoming a very big issue in terms of people asking to be able to charge their vehicles. Now, I suppose the starting point for me is what should a body corporate do? Um, where we've got to is the main thing that a body corporate committee needs to do is to make sure that its bylaws say that before anyone installs any form of charger or charges from sockets in their, power, in their car park or otherwise, that they need body corporate committee approval. After that, it comes back to what that committee approval needs to be in terms of acting reasonably or otherwise. And there's a big melting pot of issues that pop out of this. So really, and I'm gonna leave fire safety and all that sort of stuff aside for the moment because we're told by QFES that they're okay to charge. We've got no government intervention otherwise and body corporate insurers keep insuring buildings with EV charges. So until any of that changes, I'm gonna run on the basis that there's probably no greater fire risk from EVs than there is from a normal petrol car. And I know that might upset some people, but that's where I am. Um, when it comes to what a body corporate needs to do, I think for me, this is probably a couple of things. One is that the user must pay. Like I think it's fundamentally unfair for someone to be able to charge their car from common power unless they're actually metered and charging for it, or being charged for it, I should say. The other thing is that when the body corporate allows charges to be installed, it's got to make sure that there's the ability for everyone to be able to access that same right in due course. Because what we don't want is buildings, if there's 15 charges installed and there's 45 car parks, if those 15 charges mean that from an electrical safety perspective or from a load perspective that the other people can't get charges, then that's fundamentally unfair. So I think for committees, this is one of those ones to get ahead of, to make sure that they're ready, even if they don't necessarily want to approve them or don't want to go and look at the option of retrofitting buildings to include trunk infrastructure that allows charging to be made more easily or otherwise. And I think it's interesting uh, from a Queensland perspective, particularly if you're in the southeast corner, um, this is probably an issue from a committee perspective that if you haven't faced already is going to be coming around the corner pretty quickly. Uh, whereas the further north you go, maybe carve out cans, but it's certainly if you're in central Queensland, um, everyone's driving V8 Holdens anyway, so it really doesn't matter. Um, but from an EV side of things, it really is a matter of making sure that your bylaws are ready for that inevitable request when it does arrive, because ladies and gentlemen, it is coming. So if you need help looking at your bylaws, um, please reach out. Mm -hmm.